very good morning and welcome back to our breakfast interview. Today we are favored to look at a subject that occupied the news last week. The University of Nairobi uh, student elections were held. A lot of stories uh, hit the headlines about armed, uh, armed escort to the candidates who are running for different offices. But eventually the elections were held and we have a new chairman in office. His name is Babu Owino and he's joining us this morning to discuss student politics student leadership uh, in the universities. Welcome, Babu. Maybe you should start by telling us his background. Uh, who is he? So who is Babu Owino? Yeah, thank you. Babu Owino is a Kenyan citizen who means no harm, has no harm, thinks <laughs> no harm, and intends no harm, but just has the interest of Kenyans at heart. What is Babu Owino studying? Babu Owino is doing his second degree in law. My first degree was actual science. Science. Yeah, now I'm taking another degree in law. Why do you want the two degrees? Now, actual science deals with numbers, law deals with facts. Combination of the two is best for any other individual. So what do you want to do when you finish it? I would like to form, uh, to set up an actual firm mm. or a financial consultancy firm. Mm. And then uh, I would also like to practice law, have a law firm. Prior to uh, winning the Sono leadership, uh, were you holding any particular office in the student leadership at the university? Before, in 2011, 2012, I was the chairman of SONU when I was doing my first degree. You're chairman of SONU? Yeah, then I vied for Westlands MP in the last elections. It was quite unfortunate that uh, now I'm the standing MP for Westlands because there's a city there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then after that, now I, when I came back, decided to buy for the Sony chairmanship and I've won it again. So you have been, you have gone into the record books as the only person to be chairman of Sony twice Definitely. in the history of the university as far as I can tell. Definitely. Why did you want to come back to the same leadership? <coughs> you know. And secondly, Sony <coughs> leadership has always been held by undergraduates, not, not postgraduate students. Okay, um, you're not postgraduate, you're just pursuing a different degree. Yeah. But in that respect, you are an old guard of the university, the student fraternity. Now what happens is that uh, Sonu has been defunct, so many students were crying. And you know, they called that I go and hold the position again. What is happening is that when the voice of the student called, when the voice of people called, it is like the voice of people is the voice of God. So when the voice of God calls, you have to obey, lest you be swallowed like Jonah in the Bible. Yeah, so I had to obey and serve my students because the Sonu that used to be during my time used to be a great Sonu. Now the yes. Sonu that is in place is a defunct Sonu. Is but a sonu that during your time, it's two that years apart. It's not like ages. Yeah, that two years apart, students were really enjoying. Students were eating chicken. After me, students started <laughs> eating like chicken and eating with chicken. <laughs> How so are you the one providing the chicken? <laughs> in other words, students... What happened? The chicken left the table. Now, that is the problem because some of the student leaders started going to bed with the administration. Yeah, they were serving the administration's interest instead of serving the interest of the people who put them into the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the interests are not the same of the students and the university administration. Definitely. What is it? Where do they part? They are, they are not rivals. Where do they part? There is a very big rivalry between administration and students. But this rivalry is not caused by the students. It's caused by the administration. Because the administration wants things done in their way. Mm -hmm. But we know that a student is always right. Is that? A That's a very a arbitrary student. dictatorial statement. It is not a dictatorial statement. That a student is always right. Because How is it, is, it is the majority. The students are the majority. Okay? But the, the majority can go wrong also. They can go wrong, but in, a, in situations whereby the administration is coming in to impose things, because students just never fight. Why would, you, why would you fight for something which is right? The administration imposes things. Now, when the students are fighting for that... The but the administration the imposes things for the welfare of the students. Yes. And for the better some some of the the administration yeah. of the institution. Some of the things is for the betterment of the students. But majority of the things is just to, to frustrate the students. Then give us examples. You would seem to be now, the for person example, who says you see, students should run the universities by your logic. Yeah. You see, what, what happens, the student leadership is meant to protect the interest of the students. The student leaders are the advocates for the students. That's yes. right. So by the end of the day, they must protect the interest of the students. For example, if the administration wants to raise fee, we know very well that this fee, if it is raised, it is not only affecting the students, but it's yeah. affecting the, the, all the Kenyans at large. But the students are representing the Senate. 
They are represented in the Senate. So, by yeah. virtue of your being chairman, yeah. you are represented, you represent the student in the Senate. Yeah. That way, that's why you, you, you express your views about student needs. Now, what happens when you go into the university Senate, you find the student leaders are around 10. The, the rest of the composition, who are more than 100 people, are administrators. So at times when you try to express your views in the Senate, they don't listen. So the better way to, 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 to do that, to make them listen, is to go back to your students and consult with them and make the administration but all students can, cannot go to the Senate. That's why, that's why we are the That is why people elect members of parliament, to go to parliament to represent them. Because we ca all cannot go to parliament. So that's students true. have representative, those whether one or two, to the Senate. It is there that we're supposed to express. That's what I'm saying. In the Senate, there's a composition of like only 10 students and more than 100 administra administrators. So when you go there, 10 but against 100. It is not against. Not I don't know you have that to be, be it against. Is, it is a rep representation is, is not, not always contradictory or competitive. It's not competition. competition. Uh, you pre the university is run by the administration. Mm -hmm. And the student Stu leaders. No, student leaders don't run the university. They student do. leaders represent the students in the administration. You know what happens? A chairman of Sonu is a member of the university council. Yes. The university council makes policies that run the university. Yes, that's and right. And he's part of the policy making body that runs the yes. university. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So students don't run the university. <laughs> By your own explanation. However, anyway, that's not that's not important. Let me look at uh, let's look at the elections which were held. You guys hit the headlines. Sensational stuff. Armed security and the uh, um, accompanying some of the candidates. Did you have um, the escort to yourself? Uh, myself, um, uh, I was with my students. Students were my security because they're the people that I was, I was vying to, to represent them. But uh, the issue of being armed, you know very well that uh, like in a situation that happened, mm. um, the administration hired because they're always involved so much into the student politics. You see, for the first time, there was no chaos after the elections. But previously, there has been, because they always have specific interests. Now, in this situation, the administration had some policemen and civilians who were having guns. So when they didn't want specific candidates to, expi to, to, to campaign and win the specific seats. Now, when these people went to, for example, Loakabete, and uh, students were having a rally there, these guys started causing commotion because the, the administration basically didn't want some people to campaign. Be uh, specific. Are you saying? Personally, they didn't want me to win this position. Other yeah. positions also, they didn't want specific candidates like for the Secretary General mm -hmm. to win that position. Mm -hmm. So what by, administration, by administration, mean who? By the administration, we mean the, the university. The, the university. You mean the vice chancellor? The vice chancellor. The vice chancellor, the deputy vice chancellors, mm. and they are, call they them are you saying they are their own candidate? They are their own candidate. They are their own Because they even right. blocked me from vying. Initially, they called a senate and said, Babu Wino should not vie for these elections. Okay. Why would Babu Wino not vie? Babu Wino subscribes to Sony. And you know very well that there is no represent, there is no taxation mm. without representation. Mm. And in the Kenyan constitution, even the president of the nation is allowed to go for two terms. Right. Now, back to the issue of uh, the armed the election. Thing. Yes. Yeah. Now, the way this thing happened, it was so tricky. Because these guys in civilian who came with guns and started harassing students, Mm. So the, the people who were shooting in the air were trying to protect themselves also, and the guns are licensed. Who? Okay. Whose guns were licensed? Some of the students' guns were are licensed. Which students in, had in guns? Fact, in fact, what happened is that when these guys in the plain clothes came to harass the students, they started causing commotion. Mm. Then in the cause of that, there were gunshots in the air. Okay? Because they wanted to arrest these specific students. So you are saying from your yeah. student colleagues had guns which were licensed, which, th who, which they used on that not occasion. Not all students have guns. No, not but all. But guns, you're allowed to, to have a gun eh, to for, 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 for personal you protection. Have, do you have a gun yourself? My, myself, I don't have a gun. I'm, I'm just getting one in the, in the course of the week for protection. OK. Yeah. You need a gun for protection? Definitely. I have political enemies. And also the administration is so much on my neck. So I need to protect <laughs> myself. Against the vice chancellor, against the senator, against who? Why against any, any I'm other shocked. Any you know, I'm getting very shocked to hear that a student, when I was in a university, there is no question of a student having a gun. What for? 
But a gun is for protection, you know. Against who? So long as you get a licensed gun, what is the problem? I don't need a gun even now. Today, I don't need a gun. So but we know, we know so many people have guns. Okay. Who shot in the air during, uh, to cause the commotion? Was it your guys, the st students who, had, who are licensed or who had the security, private security arrangements, or the police? It is my guys who did that. Who shot in the air? Who shot in the air and... Uh, the, the gun that was used is a licensed gun. Then after that, the policemen arrested my students, 12 of them, who are currently at industrial area. Today, yesterday, there was a, uh, there's a person who fraudulently defrauded another lady worth 40.5 40, 40 million. It's even in today's newspaper. That mm. person was given a cash bill of 1 million. These students have, begin, have been given a cash bill of 2 million. Where will this students get a cash bill of two million. So you had also. hired uh, uh, security, armed security? I didn't hire them. Yes. Those are my personal friends. They are students. They're not students they are or they're students? They're students. They're students yes. with guns. Not students with guns. Yes. Uh, only one person had a gun, which is licensed. Is he a student? He is a student. Who is licensed he to have a, a gun? He's a student and a friend of Sonu also. Okay, anyway, let's, let's move on. So these guys have been charged. You are not clear about that. Uh, these what do you mean a student is a friend of Sonu? All students are friends you of you Sonu. Can be, you can be a student and you're not a friend of Sonu if you are serving the interest of the administration. You are a friend of so Sonu. Why were, are they with the interest of the why were they arrested and charged in court? Is he one of them? He is one of them. Yes. And uh, together with uh, other students who are also arrested because of that commotion. Right. Yeah, during that commotion, uh, the policemen came and uh, students dispersed because of the gunshots yes. and then uh, they arrested the students took them they were really tortured they've lost their some have lost their their, their, their teeth mm. and it's really sad and they're there at industrial area no medication no nothing mm. we have exams starting today that's why i told students should not we should at least have one week before we do the exams. Okay, so looking at gun policy, exams. are guns allowed on campus, whether by student or by private uh, arrangement? Gun policy, so long as you, you, are, you have a license to hold the gun, then you can hold it anywhere. Okay. Within and without the... Okay. The let's, let's, let's look at uh, after the elections. Um, you have said that uh, the term should be extended because students spend time campaigning. Uh, and during the strike, time was lost. Yeah, definitely. So you're asking the university to extend the time Correct. for the students to, exams to be, you know, rather exams to be moved move forward? You see, the, the two weeks that we lost during uh, the lecturer strike, the two weeks that we lost students wants to at least recover the two weeks, at least they be given one extra week so that they take their time studying for the exams because majority of the students are not ready for exams and they are the people who are doing these exams. So they requested the administration that the exams be pushed by a week. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Was that by consensus or because of you consensus. political leaders in the, you know, I mean, rather the student leaders who wanted that extended by fiat? Was Did it a consensus? Because there's some students who are complaining that, look, that is giving us more costs to live in the university. Exactly. They had no business. Uh, some of them, you were campaigning, yeah, but there was no suspension of uh, educational programs. Exactly. What is happening is that... Uh, Majority during our swearing in, so many students came there, thousands of students. They came and they requested loudly and publicly that yeah. at least they be given a week to study for the exams. Of course, there are some students who will say this or that. Not everybody will be in agreement, but majority of the students were in agreement that they be given a week so that they start the exams on 21st. I don't what is the constant implication? There is no much implication on that. The only thing is that uh, there is too much implication if students do exams today, starting today, because so many students will fail. We don't want to do exams whereby a student is uh, How do you know you will negative. How because do you know? it they is the start. public outcry that we are not ready for the exams. But if somebody let says let me tell you, my friend, I've ready. been to the university. Some of us have gone to the university. There is no time university students are ready <laughs> for, but for exams. exams. But you see, we have two weeks that we lost. Okay. We have two weeks that we lost that right. we need at mm. least. Within, we would have requested for two weeks, All but right. we've only requested for one week that we lost during the lecturer strike. And the question is, is this but you are, why are you not studying? The lecturers the were week. not there. The, the, not the library there. was there. The, the syllabus, books were there. The syllabus was not being covered. covered. Okay. Yeah. okay. What I, my concern is, is that 
it is a general feeling consensus of the students because there are those who might feel <coughs> you have a cost when you're leaving that university, daily living expenses, extending that time is unfair to those who may not share with you or who may not be politically active or are not interested in the Sony elections, for example. What do you have to say to those? That's it, but uh, the issue of the cost, because uh, at least it is a situation of give and take. Suppose, uh, suppose now we're not doing exams today, then we also have to bear some little cost. I know it, it, there is a cost that will be involved, right. definitely, but because there was the majority wanted it that way, wanted that exams at least be put. What okay. majority is that? The majority, the, of the the majority are the people who came to the Soviet Union because they are political. But you see, not the majority everybody, of students not, don't, don't not, go to those meetings. Not everybody will be in agreement that... The, that what you are calling majority is what you saw there. That's not the majority of the that, That's the voice of the you have, you have not, you have not gone to all campuses. All that university campuses. You see, the public outcry from all the satellite campuses, from main campus and all the other satellite How campuses. How do you assess that? But we have sites where we communicate. We have leaders who are also there initially. Okay. Personally, the, 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 all I'm, students... I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're saying leaders, not students. The, my friend, personally... There are some of the students, student leaders in those various campuses, and some of the students who have my personal contacts. I, re I received, like yesterday, I received more than 500 messages just requesting me that, Babu, we are not ready for these exams. We need one week to compensate for the two lost weeks. Let's look at how many, what is the student population sitting in the exams? Uh, Roughly. Okay. You know, you Roughly may not have the figures, but looking at all the campuses, and, you know, this is a semester coming to a close. It will be around uh, half of the students, which is around... Uh, 40,000 40, students because some are off session. Yeah, so let's say yeah. 20,000 could be involved no, in the students in total are around 70,000. Mm -hmm. Yes, but those who could be sitting exams could be about 20,000. About 20, 30,000. How is 500 in ratio? You're a man, an no. actuarian. 500 in 20,000. Now the ratio is small, but that those are the people who could access me. What about those who could not access me? There's also that's there's just a general uh, outcry. If you do a random sampling, for example, in Kikuyu campus, yes. you see everybody is just saying we don't want that exam. Is it because students just don't want to do exams? No, of no, course, no, as no, Mutegi no, no. are saying, yeah. students have to be exams tested. are a They've bad season for students. Students. Yes. students have always done exams. That's why they go to the next level. So they don't fear these exams. It's only that they lost two weeks that they need at least a week to cover for that. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Babu, uh, questions are raised about uh, the campaign. How much did it cost you? Yeah. To win the Sonu chairmanship. Campaigns cost a lot of money because by the end of the day, you have to appreciate. You, you, can't, buy, so you can't buy somebody's loyalty. You can't buy a vote. People vote you because they feel they vote you. That is why it is a secret ballot. Sometimes but they buy Kenyan politics. People buy votes. So that's not accurate. No. Okay, a person, a person who can, whose vote can be bought, then that's a person who's... Tell, uh, tell me why you need money to for Sonu election. Okay. Now, first of all, how much? Let me yes. answer the questions yes, uh, yes, one by one. Eh? Yes. Mm. Now, the issue of the Sonu money the money for the elections. You yes. know, you have to pay your agents, you have to pay security, yes. you have to pay, uh, you have to appreciate the students, at least for their time, for coming to this institute. By giving buying, them some. Buying refreshment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some, if you want, you can give them. It is not an offense because you, you there's a time that personally I also don't have anything and I ask some of the students to give me something. So, and they yes. do it. So, we are brothers and sisters there. But so when you're running for political office or leadership and you're giving out money, that is an integrity question. You're aware as a lawyer in mm. the chapter 6 of the Constitution. There's nowhere which is recorded that Babu was giving out money. But Babu you're saying you had, you in your explaining your budget, you said you treated some, yeah. which is an with offense under the Elections Act. With refreshments, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, let me ask you if it is an offense, uh, if, if it is an ele 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 <laughs> elections offense. Eh? Yes. If a student is genuinely hungry yes. and it is during campaigns, yes. you find a student is dying there. Yes. And then the student only says that I only need food. Give yes. me this money to buy food. Yes. Will you leave this student not to give him that money because it is an election offense to give this student money and the student is dying? You will give him the food, but it's is an election business? offense. But this, um, this, this you will give him the food, but is that, is that, that there is no problem with not that. An there is no problem with giving them that money. There is no problem with that because these okay. students need to. Where do you get the money okay. yourself? My, myself, money for my campaigns. Yes. Uh, there was fundraising from my students. The yeah. same students that I was appreciating. Part of it was from your friends? Yeah. and uh, from your friends your who are not in the university, who believe in my ideologies. Part of it was from fundraising. Yes. Students sat together and decided that this is the person we are electing. That's why we were elected with the majority of the votes. Yes. We how much How much did you spend it on this election? Let's see how difficult it is to become Sony chair. It was chairman. more than a million. More than a million? Yeah. Only? Yeah. Materials, the posters, the treating All some that. of your friends and uh, your supporters and... Uh, Recruiting and having agents so in how many polling stations? We spent approximately 
3.5 million for this election. About 3.5 million. And you said you visited by from okay. students. We'll come back students to that uh, a little later, but let's go back. Let's go to the public. This is interesting yeah, conversations. Uh, student leadership we are discussing uh, with specific reference to the just ended Sono elections uh, at the University of Nairobi. Uh, we have in the studio uh, Babu Uwino, the new chairman of Sono, second time chairman of Sono. <laughs> but let's hear what uh, student colleagues and the public are thinking. Kirigo. Over to you there. Yes, David McCallum, Tekinja, thank you very much for that. Of course, a lot of conversation is coming up from that uh, gun uh, conversation you had a few minutes ago. And let's just have a look at the SMSs. Um, <coughs> there's uh, just listening to him saying, my guy's shot in the air. And I imagine such guys having firearms during their strikes and confrontations with the police. Give them guns at your own perils. Then there's someone else. Anonymous, I thought students come to the university to learn and go, but the administration remains to continue serving. How can one fight the one who serves him and wants to serve himself? I don't understand what has happened to our sons and daughters. There's uh, politics. Then um, there's Ole Kahonge in Kisei, and who says students with guns, not pens. That is very scary. Police needs to investigate for that. There's someone who says the student who had a gun should be held without bail, and this leader should also be held as he bears the greatest responsibility. Um, then he says, uh, Tony Nkisumu says, can this guy expand on student killings in the hostels? That's very ridiculous. Um, then there's Anne, it's very dangerous for students to have guns, they can kill each other because they behave like thugs. Uh, and that's Anne, she doesn't say where she's sending uh, the message from. Please, please tell my friend that once you have a gun, you become more insecure than before. So many thugs outside there are looking for guns. Watch out, the gun is not safe with you. That's why in Nairobi. So yes, the conversation on guns has, uh, of course, brought up a lot of different uh, comments uh, from uh, you know our viewers back there. And if you want to be part of the conversation, double two four double two, we'd love to hear what you have uh, to say as we talk about. Uh, student leadership at the university. For now, back to you, <laughs> David McCarty <laughs> and Mr. Bell. Babu, you can see uh, the feedback there. People have a problem with your gun. Story. Not, not all people have a problem. Those are just uh, a, a few sampled ones. But I believe that uh, if you have a gun, a licensed gun, if somebody is somebody suggesting that the students should not be given a cash bill, that's a licensed gun. They should be having pens, not guns at the university. <laughs> anyway, 